Good morning. Welcome to Crafting with Victoria Clark. I just surprised Babe. If you see the red live button, we're currently live. Otherwise, please put in hashtag replay. Facebook has been a little bit better recently. I literally got literally, actually, really, dang it, Ross. <laughs> just got some notifications from like weeks ago. So please, please, even though I may not say hi right away, please do put in hi hashtag replay so that I can say hi to you. I love to know that you are here. And if you're new, also let me know that you're new so that I can, you know, welcome you in. Welcome, welcome. In the background, you will hear Babe. That's my husband, a.k.a. Ricky. He reads comments now and then, off and on. <laughs> Anyways, if you're not seeing the red live button, we are on replay. We're going to do a festive wall hanger today, and we may zhuzh up a couple of my paintings with some hangers on them because they don't have hangers right now. Good morning, sweetest Nora and Weezer. Hello, hello. Let me just find us so I can get us sprinkled all over the place. I was a little late this morning. Do you guys want to know why? Oh. Yeah. I was a little late. Hi, Tina. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling, Nora. Hi, Doris. We're going to share to all the groups. Victoria Clark Crafting Group. VC Video Vault. Deb's Craft Corner Group. Hey, Jude's Crafty Friends. Thoughts to Treasures Crafty Friends. Hey, Trudy. How is your eyeball this morning? Hi, Maria. Create with Mama Jerry. Friends on the Loop. Loretta's Crafters Lives. We'll share us to all those places. So we've got to find out how Grace's eyeball is this morning. Find out how your eyeball is this morning, Trudy. Got to find out how... <laughs> um, Weezer, is your knee all better? It made me think of it yesterday when she was telling us that she had fallen behind her couch and hurt her knee. Dang it. Who was that, babe? Was it Jamie? Um, I think it was Jamie. Yeah, Jamie. yeah. Hello, hello, everybody. So you know what I was thinking, you guys? <laughs> Lots of things. <laughs> but do you want to know what I was thinking that I can actually share with y'all? Is it, is it still all bruised up and fluid? Oh, you're so welcome, Trudy. I'm glad to hear that. I was thinking, like, these need something. Like, don't they need some kind of a hanger or something on them? Like, they're just kind of bleak. But we're not going to do that right now. But I think that they need a hanger or something on them. And then I'm going to sell them. Just sell them. And then today we have got this board. We're going to paint it up and then we're going to decorate it. We're going to do some decoupage. We're going to do some painting. We're going to do a little bit of all the things. And this is the napkin that we're going to use today. We're going to put this right dead center. And then we're going to, now this is theoretically, we're going to paint some pretty pine boughs coming in around it and, you know, just make some cute little things around the edges and then put a hanger on it. You sound like the perfect partner to have a race with me, Weezer. Because <laughs> you're not ready for a race. <laughs> Most of the swelling has gone down. My knee is not the issue, Weezer. But what happens, especially at this weight that I'm at right now, my ankles have a tendency to kind of like give out on me. So if I were to like take off running, I'd be like, and I'd be gone. I'd be down. I would get eaten by the zombies. You would be safe. So yeah. And to think I used to jog anywhere from three to five miles a day. <laughs> and now look at me. It's okay. We can get back there. All right. So because the background of this is nice and white, I'm going to paint this kind of like an, a creamy white. I'm going to use the Adirondack. I was looking and I was like, I haven't used my chalk paint in a while. 
How are you this morning, Tina? Tina, Tina. Sounds good. All right. How's Doris seeing a Beverly? I don't see a Beverly. Oh, I see her. You got called out, Beverly. I see you watching. <laughs> Doris called you out. Okay, so let's get both sides painted with this beautiful. And I'm so sorry I was late, guys. I'm trying my hardest to be findable. You can at least walk without a cane. That is good. That is a plus. Now, you know what would be even better, Weezer? Is if you could tell me where my whole bin full of beautiful ribbons are. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. I am so glad to hear that you can walk without the cane and that it's getting better. I would really like to know where my ribbons are, though, because I can't find them. Hey, Lena. Happy birthday, Lori. Me either. I don't see Lori. They're in the shed. Oh, well, hot dang. I got a ways to go <laughs> to get those suckers then. I don't see Lori. Do you see Lori? Lori Ramirez is watching. <laughs> Everybody's getting called out this morning. Good morning, beautiful Lori. Happy birthday, Lori. Happy birthday, Lori. You ready? Huh? You gotta be louder because you're way back there and my mouth is so big. You gotta be louder. Ready? Yeah. <gasps> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Lori. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Guys, my brain, my brain has not caught up. Woohoo! <laughs> you should wear glitter. See how they like that on their machine. <laughs> Just glitter yourself up. <laughs> Glam those girls right up there, Nora. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Babe. What? Babe, we might need your assistance. Can't even assist myself. Oh my God. Guys, don't. Yeah, see, Trudy agrees. Louder, Ricky, louder. I watched Babe do this once. He hit it in a way that kind of like forced it towards the way that it opens. You know, and I thought when he was saying whack it, I thought he meant like on. But no, he was hitting it going like sideways. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> he let me in on a man trick. <laughs> it worked, you guys. It worked. Sing it like you mean it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go in and call them glitter puppies. <laughs> Probably shouldn't put a half a lot there. Oh, my word. Weezer, talking about singing like you mean it. If you had been at Lucian's birthday party this past weekend, those boys, they scream happy birthday. I don't know when that started becoming a thing with the kids, but lately, any of the kids' birthday parties, you see, that's what they're doing. They're like screaming, like you're kind of like wincing and holding your ears. I mean, it's great. They're having so much fun with it, but hot dang. It's like, ooh. Every color imaginable in glitter. Oh, you could be a rainbow, Tata. <laughs> Give some to Nora. Go bling it up. Or some of the, what are, are they called? Nipple tassels or just tassels? Pasties. Oh my God. Funny story, you guys. When Babe and I were still semi new to one another. Oh, did you guys see that? When we were still kind of sort of new to each other, I had met his daughter in law, which she is now my daughter in law. 
and very, very sweet girl, very innocent girl, you know, just very innocent. And she offered to bring us over some, she was calling them pa pasties, pasties. And I was looking at Ricky going, what do you mean she's bringing us over some pasties? I don't, what? <laughs> It was a type of food. It was like a pasties, pasties. And it it's like a pouch of dough filled with like potatoes, meat, and that kind of stuff. And I was like dying. I was like, what do you mean? She's <laughs> and when I told her about it, and you know, that I was a little surprised and where my thinking had gone wrong she didn't know what I was talking about. I had, I had to explain it to her. So then I, I felt like I was going straight to hell as soon as, you know, I felt like I was corrupting this poor young girl. Hi, Connie. <laughs> Connie! <laughs> Good morning. Trudy, I am painting on just a regular board. It's quarter inch thick and we're going to turn it into a beautiful sign. If my paintbrushes don't fall apart on me, that is what happens, you guys. If you leave your paintbrushes in your water like I do so many times, it starts to loosen the glue that's inside the ferrule that holds it together. Hey, Heather Lynn! Marilyn came in, too. Good morning, Marilyn. I hope you are enjoying your coffee and my my probably ill repute tales of pasties. <laughs> uh, the ways that I embarrass myself over the years, you guys. Oh my God. I wish I were daring enough to tell them about the word that you didn't know. And you called me it one day. I about fell on the floor. You know, I always say babe was well-preserved in the little corner of New Ipswich, you know, untouched by the rest of the world, you know, and, and, you know, he called me a name one day and I just stopped and I looked at him and I was like, I wasn't sure whether to laugh or be offended. And I was like, what, what did you just call me? And he said it again, loud and proud. And I was like, huh? Do you, do you know what that means? And he's like, well, no, it's, it's just a, it's just a word. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. It's what happens with a lady's parts when there's too much air in there. <laughs> now, if you know, you know, and you'll know what he called me, show me all kinds of laughy faces. If you get that. Yes. A second cup, a second cup. Something tells me we're going to be here a while. <laughs> Babe wants one too. Hey, Dawn. Good morning, Pam. And Marilyn. There's Pam Mead. Hello, beautiful friend. How are you today? Dawn, do you get it? Do you get it? What he called me that day? <laughs> I was like, I was flummoxed. <laughs> There's a word for Ross, flummoxed. Connie, tell him, flummoxed. Connie, you're so full of baloney. <laughs> you are so full of baloney, as long as you're not full of air. <laughs> what? I thought Connie didn't say I was going to have to do it again. Oh. Hi, Connie. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Grace Mancioni. Good morning. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay, so we'll get this side done. Did you send mom a link, babe? I did. Yay. Mom was probably like, she late. I'm not going in there. She probably went to bed. I was. I was late. And I apologize. I do try so hard. I was trying to find my ribbon. 
I honestly didn't think to look in Weezer's shed. I got to remember that next time. What letter does it start with, you guys? Do you know what it starts with? Does it start with a Q, a K, a C? Not a C. That would be a different C word. <laughs> we don't talk about that word. <laughs> Don says it seems I have a full day. How does that happen? And yes, sadly, I do. I was not as well preserved in the backwoods, although almost until the world's <laughs> Right, Don? I think it's a cue, Grace. Yes, I think it's a cue. Can you imagine your sweet, innocent husband just coming out and calling you that one day, having no clue what he's calling you? <laughs> Either that or he was playing innocent just a bit too well and was getting away with a whole heck of a lot of stuff back then. That's right, Don. So what happened to your day? How did your day get filled up? I don't know what happened. I'm glad to see. Connie, did you catch it? I almost, I did. I said literally, and then I was like, dang it, and said the other word. What was the other word that starts with an A? Ross has jumped onto the fact that I say literally. So now anytime I say literally, do you have anything you would like me to do today? Yes, I want you to work on your blanket, actually. Yeah, so I had to quick flip it to actually, but it wasn't quick enough because I had already said literally. Do you have anything you would like? Who got you, Dawn? Who got you? You're not dense, Trudy. I'll send you a PM. I don't think I can say the word on air. I think I might get like I Facebook jailed. Actually. <laughs> so yeah, anytime I go to say the word literally, all I can think of is Ross going literally. <laughs> Why, Dawn? What the heck? You're going to have to message me and tell me what you're doing because I, I don't remember saying any of these plans were okay. Don't spoil those that have been preserved. You heard it, Trudy. We've got to preserve you. If you're the only one that doesn't know it, you must be preserved. <laughs> we must preserve the innocence. <laughs> oh, Dave said, I don't think she's at all innocent if she fell out of bed butt naked. <laughs> okay, now we're going to flip it, paint the other side. No, oh, Trudy, Trudy. Here we go. Maria, all we could think about was your smiley face last night during a discussion. I'm like, I don't know. All I can, all I can picture is the smiley face that Marie is toting around. <laughs> oh, Lord. And paint the other side. Yeah, you're preserved all right, Weezer. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Oh, Trudy, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, oh my. Let me see gift donations for five year old little girl. This will be fun. Grocery stores, Verizon, good for I don't know hours. I don't know what Don's talking about. What are you what are you talking about, Don? The mitten tree gift donation for five-year-old little girl. 
grocery store Verizon. Good for. I don't know. You got to talk English there. Are you making mittens? Do we need to knit? Like, don't make me pull out the knitting mittens. No, I don't want to knit no mittens. I don't think so, Weezer. I don't think so. I think we'd be telling some fish tales right now. <laughs> I do. I do. I think you and I could go and have quite a lot of fun without worrying about offending each other at all. <laughs> Hi, Mary Tayo. How are you? Thank you for spreading the love. I appreciate it, friend. So we're going to paint this little wooden guy up. I should have drilled a couple of holes in there so that I didn't have to go the way of ribbon. Dang it. You know, I just don't like hot glue. I don't like hot glue to hold anything. And if I put a ribbon on this as a hanger, then I need to count on hot glue to hold it on. And hot glue... Did Beverly come in? No, you didn't tell me, Don. See? See, Weezer, you know, huh? We could go and have a very good time. Hi, Krista. Hi, Shirley. Where did I where did you see her, honey? I don't see Beverly. Unless she was maybe she was in the thing she saw her watching oh man Don. but th that it's not going to take all day is it like how many things do you have to get i agree weezer i agree how many things do you have to get don like that shouldn't be all day like you you could amazon that sucker You have the power to control your day. You just tell everybody, I'm out. I'm out. Pull a page from your sister's guidebook and just say, I'm done. And go sit down and knit your blanket. <laughs> oh, Don. That's... <laughs> Good morning, Beverly Faulkner. Everybody's saying hi to Beverly, but I still have not seen her. Yay, Weezer, I can't wait. It'll be a lot of fun. It will be a lot of fun. Oh, for Pete's sakes. You guys, I picked up hazelnut coffee this morning. It tastes so good. I haven't had hazelnut coffee in forever. When did you pick that up? At the store. Yeah. yeah. Already made? No, honey, it's in my... It's not already made. It's just in the mug. You see Babe over there looking all jealous? Like, where'd you get hazelnut coffee? He doesn't no, like... not jealous at all. Yeah, he's not jealous at all. He doesn't like hot hazelnut coffee. But he thought I stopped somewhere and got a coffee. There is nowhere in this town to stop for a coffee. Let me tell you. And literally forever. Did I say literally, Connie? Jesus. Sorry, guys. Hey, Ralph, did I say literally, Connie? It's too late to order online. Yes, I do believe you're right. Oh, man, and actually forever. Oh, God. I'm like, am I saying it without knowing it now? Oh, my God. Me too, Nora. Me too. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ricky, put a package of Swiss Miss in your coffee. It's delicious. Good morning, Mr. Taylor. Hey, boy. <laughs> oh, Weezer. Weezer. That's all right. It just means we won't ever mix up our coffees sitting across from a coffee table together. That's fine, friends. I love hazelnut coffee. I also like 
French vanilla coffee, but I prefer hazelnut coffee. Just once in a while, though, if you drink it all the time, it gets yucky. So I think I'm going to take Joseph's one. Yes! I keep threatening to take Lola's. I'm like, I'm going to break that sucker in half and take it myself. Screw the dog. Can you see her? I'm just heating my coffee up real quick, you guys. My ex-husband used to like the Snickers coffee, yuck. Oh, now see, that's the, that's when you put the flavored creamer in it. Nah, I like the actual, like, coffee that brews flavored. Or if you stop at Cumberland Farms, I don't know if you all have Cumberland Farms, but a lot of people have Cumberland Farms. It's, um... They have all these different flavors that are blue, uh, blah, brewed with the flavors like um, French toast and maple syrup or cinnamon bun. And those are all yummy for once in a while, but eh. Hey, Kara Ruth, good morning. It was a brewed coffee? Gross. I would love a cappuccino maker. Good morning, Jamie. How are you feeling today? We had to be sure to ask you about how you were feeling today. My favorite dirt urchin in the house, although she is she is in hibernation mode now. Who we got here? Who we got up here? Well, she may have indoor plants. But her garden, her garden is her her garden has done petered out. Take Josie's gabapentin now, Don. Did they? Did did did, blah, blah, blah. did they do the compound? They put that trazodone and gabapentin right in together and mashed it so it smells like marshmallow. Let me tell you, when you're looking at alprazolam on one hand and the dog's <laughs> magical potion in the other hand. <laughs> I wish I could, Connie. Boy, she'd have it in a heartbeat, that's for sure. So let's take apart this beautiful napkin. Look at how pretty this napkin is, you guys. It's a beautiful one. And we're going to I don't even know if I caught a hint. Did you catch that hint? I don't even know. He's a man. He's a man. I don't see it, man. You are my only dirt urchin. But you can also be my favorite dirt urchin. You have, oh, see, I wanted my greenhouse set up, Carol. My my greenhouse didn't get set up yet. What hand, great. I love this napkin, too. It was sent to me. I'm not sure who sent it. It might have been Marsha. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's hard to remember napkins after a while, guys. It really is. Unless you use them right away. Yeah, right, Grace? Guess I'm not getting it. <laughs> Carol. I need to go stay with Carol for a summer so I can learn how to garden the way that she does and how to can all the things. And then I can play with Eins. But her cats would eat gooey, so that wouldn't really work either. The kitties would eat the poor little gooey man. Oh, nice. That'll be yummy, Dawn. You have a portable greenhouse? I have a greenhouse. It's a, what is it, a 10 by 20? Or 10 by 30? It's one or the other. And so it must be the 10 by 20. And I have little racks to go in it. I have grow lights for it. I have all the toys to put in it but didn't get it set up this year next you know year will be growing in there. you know a babe will be growing in there y'all <laughs> so my stepson has an amazing coffee maker what did he pay for that oh, thing oh i i would work friend i would work no doubt um 
it's like a twelve hundred dollar machine but he got an excellent excellent deal on it so he got it for hundreds instead of in the thousand range I think 500 bucks. he got it for like 500. it is the most amazing tasting coffee ever you won't even use it. I would too use it. Listen to him. Negative Nelly. Negative Nelly. <laughs> All right. I guess see how big of an area this takes up. Okay. Oh, that's sweet, Jamie. Are you reading all those comments, babe? Because they're going by fast and I can't catch them all. Okay. Well, get on it. I got a bale of pine straw from my cats outside. Hi, Pam. Hi, Pam. We had, we saw Pam. Oh, Mary Tyler said, hi. I'm being funny. I would expect that, Ricky. You laugh, laugh, laugh. Palm and face, palm tree. <laughs> palm forest. So what are we making here? Laugh out loud. I love the napkin. Love the napkin. Come on, read what's there. I love the napkin. You like me. I love you, honey. I love you. <laughs> we are making a wall hanger. So we're going to decoupage this napkin on. And then we are going to paint additional pine bows around it. Bows. Are they bows or bows? Babe is doing an extraordinary bows. job. Bows. Bows. Pine bows. Pine bows. We're gonna dry it and iron it, mark it with a B, <laughs> hang it on the wall for baby and me. I am so corny. So, my comments stopped moving. So what's everybody got going on for the day? We know that Dawn just lost her entire day off. What's everybody else got going? Dave is just thinking about a map. So clever. So clever. <laughs> I try, Donnie. I try. So I think I should put little bows on all of my, any of my paintings that are on those boards. Ah, there you go, Weezer. Birds of a feather, right? Great minds. What do you guys think? Should I put hangers on the paintings or just leave them be? Like, what if I put ribbons on there that people don't like? Like, what if they like the painting and then don't like the hanger? Finishing out your outdoor decorations. I have given up, Jamie. Oh, if it... What? Hanger. I think if you go down south, you'll find that hanger is pronounced hanger. <laughs> Ask Carol. Sometimes Carol says it with a very strong G. Guys, if you bubble your Mod Podge, does that mean it's done? That's awesome, Trudy. I did not see it, Jamie. Did you post it? Me too, as far as giving up. I know. I'm like, I'm done trying to get anything put up. Done. So we'll put this little guy right here, smack dab center. Beep. I don't know how to hang my painting from last night. Oh, that one would be pretty easy. Um, do you have any invisible sawtooths, Weezer? If you don't know what that is, it's okay. I will show you. Grace, nothing planned, but I'm sure someone will find something for me. Isn't that always the way, Grace? You wake up thinking, la, 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 and then everybody's like, and then you can... <laughs> Okay, Jamie, I'll go find them. I'll find them. And she asked if we saw her outdoor decorations. Um, Weezer, take some of your wood glue, some of the wood glue that we use on all the wood projects, and put a good old dollop on each side of the invisible hanger on the back of it. 
and voila, done. At least that's what I've done with stuff like that. Or you could put a wire hanger through it. That came out amazing. Did you guys see Weezer's painting from last night? Came out amazing. It was very nice. Oh, okay, Jamie. That way I can make sure to find them. You're going to get some wrapping done, Don? Yeah, because if you keep waiting for help, would that work for you, Weezer? That's That would work. That's when dinner's ready. I know. What dinner? You can't burn peanut butter and fluff, Connie. Let's turn this sucker up. I think this little guy is going to end up being cute once we're all finished with it. But where is my Teflon sheet? Oh, yeah. That would look nice, too, Weezer. Do wags. <laughs> There's Beverly. Now I see her. Hi, Wanda. Connie, you you don't be saying poor babe. It's not poor babe. Babe is fine. You guys, I just rolled up my silicone sheet yesterday and stuck it in my little container. So where on earth? How can I be not seeing that? Got glasses on and blind as a bat, I guess, because I don't see it. Babe, do you see it? No, I can't see it. Though. Oh, you can't see over here. Well, that's weird. How on earth did I do that? Oh, it's right there. Trudy has never had peanut butter and fluff. Wow, you are preserved. Thank you for sprinkling, Beverly. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he is being starved. If he sleeps through dinner time or if my stomach doesn't feel good or any other excuse that I come up with to not cook, I don't cook. I hate to cook, guys. I hate to cook. It's not, it's a New England thing, but other people not in New England have heard of fluffernutter sandwiches. Aw, hello, sweet little girl. Good morning, Charlene. Everybody, ixnay on <laughs> any inappropriateness. Why are you sorry, Jamie? Oh. <laughs> Chicken strips are better, but then you have to turn on the... Then you have to turn the oven on. And what if you threw stuff in there? Like, what, if, you know, no. <laughs> okay, so I have a little bit of looseness around my edges. I'm not worried about it because we'll just. Oh, because I don't like to cook. Yeah, I. Ugh. Cooking is not my thing. Give me a Reese's peanut butter cup. So, no, I mean, sometimes I do crave salad, but I mean, keep it simple. It's still warm. So you just kind of wet the edge and flick it away. It works just fine for any of the pieces that weren't truly stuck down. No need to stress. It comes right off. Comes right off of there. A little water. Just a little rolling. 
No, I'm not done. <laughs> Do you guys hear the sound of Babe's voice just now? Does that mean you're done? <laughs> no. Weezer, you can have all the cooking. All the cooking in the world. I would never, ever be playing. Please, can I help cook? I'd be like, you really don't need help, do you? <laughs> Deb Krause. Good morning, sweet lady. How are you? Okay, now the fun stuff begins. Here comes the fun stuff. You've got the dogs, right? I don't want them to pull that down when it's hot. They're sleeping on you. All right. Turn this off and let it cool down. Unplug it because I don't know if that's all the way off or not. Miss Deb Krause, how are you today? Toaster oven and a cappuccino maker. We have an air fryer, guys, but other than doing a... What's the word for it? Dang. Other than doing a rotisserie style chicken in it, it's kind of useless. It doesn't fit very much in there. Like if I did chicken nuggets in there, Babe would laugh at the amount that he got served on his plate because the baskets are so small and we got a big one. You know, we didn't get like a teeny tiny little one because we knew, but no, it's, it's not worth the hassle to clean it. Me either, Deb Kraus, me either. All right. Let's move these. We don't need them right now. Where can I put it? Right there. So let's get some greens going. Some greens. We're going to use some sap green. Now, you don't need to open up all kinds of different greens, you guys. You can make different levels of greens just by adding some water or some white to your greens that you have. But I'm just going to put out a few different little... This is a Christmas green. Oh my gosh, that's a tough one. Wow. Well, you know, sometimes scrolling and having peace of mind is getting something accomplished. That's the way I think of it. Yeah, I've got an air fryer and yeah. Twice. Well, we've used it more than twice because we have done, you know, <laughs> the chickens in there. But we tried doing hamburgers in there. That made a holy Hannah mess. Um, You too. Thank you so much. Enjoy that little one. So we've got out a few greens, some white, and some black. Now I'm going to use this big old brush. It's, it's way big. Hey now, Grace. We do we just a minute here. <laughs> Cheapers. Okay, let's see. Now you gotta be just bold. Just be bold. And start making some pine branches. Cause these these are gonna be kind of like we're peeking through the forest. Say what I mean, say. I'm 
Be bold, be brave. It's good for you. La, la, la. And then put your big brush away. You're all done with it. All done with it. Yeah, I'll actually use the back end of it to make some polka dots on there. Your air fryer, Don. Uh oh, what was the personal question Connie asked? <laughs> now on the back of this napkin it's got like a lot of sprinkles on it like there's a lot of um peppery sprinkles so what's a pizzazz spinner I don't know what that is, Connie. A Maryland thing. <laughs> oh, boy. So I'm going to flick some black on here to match what's on the napkin. Yeah, Deb probably didn't even hear that story, Connie, because she wasn't in here yet. You've seen those but never used one? Are you... what, pasties? pasties or pizza spinners? I'm getting so confused in this conversation. That's awesome, Jamie. So I'm flicking more. It's not a, thing. It's not a Maryland thing. Did it improve it a lot, Grace? If you're not getting a good enough sprinkle, like I was just like beating this brush trying to get sprinkles off it, I needed to add more water. But see now we've got like a pepper sprinkle all over the page, like what's on the napkin. So now that all blends together nicely. Wipe that off, wipe your finger off before you get it all over everything. The pizzazz spinner. Oh, Beverly Faulkner's kids have one and she doesn't care for it. Oh. I, I want to know what it is too. You guys. Oh, man. Look. I spackled my coffee. And my coffee cup. It'll be all right. Every little thing's going to be all right. Just, just wipe it out of there, guys. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. Oh, that's awesome, Grace. Are you reading all the comments, babe? No, you are. You do it. I try. I you can't. But in front of me, when I'm getting ready to read it, <laughs> you see You didn't do that to Connie. Can you guys see this? I'll show you the speckles up close. So now Connie says we use ours all the time and love it. We still don't know what it is. Did somebody tell us? Yeah, what is it? Connie, I guess you'll need to take a picture and show us if you would. If you would. We'd be all right. Well, I know it's not my coffee because I don't have no coffee. Do you want me to make you a coffee? No, you're doing all right. No, I'm sure they would not mind if no, I go and make you a coffee. Keep going. Grace will be like, get up and make that man a coffee. <laughs> It's a pizza spinner, but you can cook other things on it, too. Oh, is that that thing that you can see the whole plate spin around and it cooks it like under one spot? You 
pretty sure I've seen them. I kind of thought, boy, that's crazy. Anything could land in your pizza flies. <laughs> I'm worldly and I don't know what that is. I don't understand. Like, how would flies land in your pizza? Heather said, I tell you what, this packaging stuff up from my auction is tough black all out. I don't have any of the right size boxes of bubble envelopes. Oh, Heather, girlfriend, I was traumatized by my first auction. Ask Connie and Jude. I didn't do another auction for a year. I was in tears. Connie and Marie said yes to something. Kathy Wallace Davis, how are y'all? Hi, Kathy. How are you? I'll see y'all later. I'm tired. I'm tired. Do going back to bed. Love it, Vicky. Thank you, Trudy. Have a good rest. I'll overdo that eye. Goodness. Kathy said I'm blessed. Hope everyone is blessed. Yes, indeed, my friend. Yes, indeed. I said, I guess I'll be going to Walmart after my mammogram to buy new chair at mine just quit on me oh nora did you at least get a cup of coffee oh. did you try unplugging it and unplugging it or reset it yeah did you try resetting it nora those keurigs can be a peach when they're breaking yeah, down the there is a reset button in the back but sometimes if you just unplug it wait seven seconds and plug it back in it'll reset itself dale said good morning good morning dale Thank you for sprinkling. Okay, guys, we're going to try out our handy dandy new brush. You guys ready? This is one of the rake brushes that, remember I made one the other day? I ordered one and it came in. Has not been used yet. Let's see if the camera will focus on it. Come on, camera, focus. But it's got the. Kind of stuff that I've got. A, I've got all payments, but now I got to figure out the box and package situation. Pump all that. You got technical support you just gave Vicky Connor, sir. I don't know what she's talking about either. Oh, because I unplugged the chair. I, yeah. I said I unplugged it twice, but it didn't manage to get a cup of coffee. Oh, no, Nora. Well, that brush I don't like for this little adventure. So if you buy in just the pure ad pot without the big coffee pot, they've, they've come down so much. They're like, what, 60 bucks at Walmart now? Yeah. I don't know when we first bought one of these, like a hundred and fifty something. Right. Maybe even more than that. It was a lot. Lisa, so I have one of those brushes and have never used it. Well, I didn't. I just didn't like it for that, Weezer. I don't like this one either. I guess I'm not gonna get the the way that I like it unless I keep using a little liner brush. So that's right, poor babe. Ella said, reach out to Keurig. They usually will replace it. Really? I didn't know that. I said, Ella Lynn Johnson, I buy some. And I save all boxes I get in the mail. Uh, we, uh, we have a bunny coffee pot now, but that's a bunny coffee pot. We used to have a bun maker, and then 
one year ants got all inside of it and it you know it must have just been that particular type of model the ants could get down in oh, oh it was so bad there was no saving it the black ants yep they were all inside of that sucker Okay, by the time I find a brush that I like for doing this. See, now that's the way to think about it, Grace. Yes. There, I like that. That's much better. That might work, Weezer. I want the long individual spines or needles, I guess you say. But see how thick these came out? Like those came out way too thick. I didn't like those. But this brush is doing these really nice skinny individual needles. This is supposed to be, it was marketed as the type of brush that you use to do the Chinese writing on the rice paper. And I got them on Timu. And this is the first time using these also. Bun. Bun. Thank you, Deb. So if you get at least three colors into your branches guys it helps them to look more and more realistic you know vary your tones and get different colors in there keep your paint nice and wet i'm not going to use this for mixing did you guys just hear babe using his dad voice That was a bun maker, Connie said. Yes. Was well, is it? <laughs> there's got to be something that we're saying wrong about the name. It's not. I don't know. It's not spelled B U N. It's. Is it bun or brawn? B U N N E. No. B U N N. Bun. B U N N. Yeah. But keep up, bun. Oh. You're all right, Weezer. Yeah, we got you. It's a coffee maker. But it doesn't take the cured pods. You still got to put the... <laughs> I can't even believe it. Now I have so many sized boxes back there to be able to try to cover any type of box because of that whole traumatic thing about the auction. And now I don't hardly ever do auctions or anything. I've oh, done two auctions. Look, TMI, babe. Like, they don't want to hear our dirty secrets. <laughs> yes, they will. Your feet will stick right out. Did you guys catch all that? I was thinking heck of it makes bombs on them. Honestly. <laughs> Connie, are you sore speaking of buns? I mean, I should explain why I'm asking that, but. <laughs> I think mine are fine. That's right. They'll be sticking right out. 
find them no problem. I said that cost my buns are good, but I love. <laughs> If you told her secret yesterday about the size that was 13 and 2. Yes. Really yep, I did. I sure did. Blue sky today, no clouds. Blue sky, no clouds. Sounds like it should be a song of some sort. <laughs> that translated amazing. She's not hearing well today. I thought it translated amazing. My, my buns are good and fluffy now, so. Oh, thank you, Kathy. He only ever wears work boots or hiking boots. Uh, girls and big feet equals da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Hey, I have two pair of Harley Davidson boots in size 13. Kathy uh, Wall, yes. One a little bit red. Yeah, and we don't ride the motorcycle either. Nope. Where's my red? Tony said it's not my buns that I hurt, it's the thighs. Did they have you doing the walkie thing again? Yeah, Connie, you got PT today? Eleven o'clock. Where does the time go? Where does it go? Oh, did they? They probably figured they better once you called. I don't know what it says, but they did. Huh. Just a few little highlights here and there. Just a few. Whoops, that wasn't supposed Weezer, to happen. So pretty. Thank you, Weezer. Um, Kathy Wall says, if anyone knows someone that would like them, let me know. Okay, Kathy, thank you. And we need a little bit of brown. So that's Thursday, Tuesday. Walk through, the snow machine. through the snow machine do they have it set so that you're walking through snow both ways it's thursdays tuesday you do the snow machine okay well wait they you don't get the walk machine on both days You got screws. The only snow machine I know is the one you sit on and pull the lever and it goes. What snow machine is that? Snowmobiles. Oh, snowmobiles. Uh -huh. Jeez. You know called snow machine? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking an exercise machine like what Connie was talking about. Muscles. Yeah. What they go snow at her when she's walking through? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, that's a, that's a snow 
I don't know. That's what I was asking her. It's a machine that makes you walk, but the only scene it has is the snow scene. I keep telling them I need a beach <laughs> scene. So when you're walking, you're looking at a screen and it's all, it's all snow. She said I might slip and fall on the ice on the screen. Oh no. Huh. And then she wrote yes. Well, that's different, huh? Get some snow in between these little pine cone ridges. Don't be chintzy with the snow. There's plenty of that stuff to go around. Load that sucker right up. Give some snow to the truck tree, too. And I can't fall on her ass in, but I keep joking with them. Oh. Because <laughs> you're strapped right into it. Keep messing with them, Connie. They're going to make sure you're so strapped in that you've got a wedgie the whole time. They're going to give you high waters. You're going to be so wedgy. <laughs> oh. oh, Lordy, Connie. I'm going to text your therapist place and tell them that we need, we need pictures. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be so, so non-OSHA. <laughs> Turn autocorrect. There's this. We've got our little sign with our. What do you guys think of that? Is it too much? Too little? Got a couple of pine cones. Thank you, Weezer. And then I was going to do a hanger on it, but I couldn't find my ribbons. I was going to do a beaded hanger, but I'll have to wait until I find my ribbon. But in the meantime, there's that, because then on the back, I can put the hot glue and put it on there. Kathy, hello. Thank you, Kathy Wallace Davis. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Kathy from 12 Oaks Gardens and Creations. How are you, girlfriend? Thank you, Nora. Do a hanger, Connie, but I don't have I don't have my ribbon. I don't know where I couldn't find it. I have Rick Rack and I have non-Christmassy stuff, but I don't seem to I can't find I couldn't find. I tried to find, but I couldn't find. I only have twine. I could do twine with just wooden beads on it. Hi, Shirley Duffy. Thank you. 
I know I said hi to you earlier, but I hadn't seen you in a while, so I'm saying hi again. Um, I could do a hanger on it, guys, but like I said, I don't have my ribbons out here. I don't know what on earth I ever did with my ribbon. How do you lose a whole entire bucket of ribbon? That's what I would like to know. Oh, thank you. You learned today you can paint on the napkin and sign it. Yes, you sure can, Grace. <laughs> Grace, are you are you picking on me? <laughs> Then you have a combination of your napkin and original. You got a you got a good uh, little thing. No. I know someone who uses twine and beads all the time. I hear she is the best ever. <laughs> Connie, I can't imagine who you might be referring to. Let's use thick. Let's use thick jute we'll use the thick stuff because it's a it's a kind of hefty it's a kind of hefty thing. It's not twine jute 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 twine i sent babe out to look for jute and he came back with nothing many times and then when i went out back and got it he's like well that's jute you said twine <laughs> Oh, my honey bunny. Aw, thank you, Grace. It's fun. It's fun. And then you can add your own, um, add all your own things to it. You know, Tanya from Strength Hope Crafts, she paints on the napkins a lot. Like, she'll put napkins on stuff, and then she'll blend the napkin into the background. So she does that quite a bit. Has anybody seen her on Babe Hit It since he didn't get a coffee? Tanya. I have not seen Tanya on in ages. Oh, God, this one's tight, you guys. <laughs> she is amazing. And I have not seen her on. So I got to message her. I'm going to message her after I get off and find out how she's doing because I haven't seen her. Let's set that up there because I might. Whew. This, this is rough to use the <laughs> stuff. So you've seen her do that, right, Grace? Where she does the, that one was better, where she does the um, background to blend into the napkin. She does amazing with that. And then she'll turn around and tell me that she can't paint. And I'm like, you are full of malarkey. You sent her a message last week and haven't heard back from her. Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll have to get Charlie. Oh, she, she is. She is, Grace. A lot of them, the poor girl. Yeah, but I miss seeing her on. Yes, slap a napkin tonight. Connie, the bar has been raised. You can no longer just slap a napkin. Now you must slap a napkin and then paint. <laughs> you have one of the ones she did? Start reading, babe. Oh, nice. She does a good job with them. Do you remember, babe, watching her do that great big flower? She started off doing it as an event. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it was all these daisies. It was a huge canvas. I wonder if she ever finished that. One, two, three, four. No, you can't do an odd number of beads because then there won't be a space in the middle. Oh, no. <laughs> Does he get a little lost in there, Maria? Just a wee little bit. One, two, 
three, one, two, three, four, five. No, four, five. Who taught that girl to count? Four, five. Be the number of digits in English that's what i was i was like i thought people were saying an odd number and i'm like it won't work that way i've got to dry this the rest of the way before we can put that on there Oh, no. I feel the pain. I do, I do. Is that dry now? Nope. Dry it some more. I can't flip it without drying it. Let that cool down. I wonder if I use, guys, what if I use E6000 instead of hot glue to put it on with? Would that work better? I just, I so dislike the hot glue. Good morning, Carla Frat. How are you, girlfriend? <laughs> Is he okay after his knee gave out or spasmed? The other night, Weezer, has it happened since or is he okay? Oh, yeah. I am doing fantabulous. Babe is lacking coffee, so I don't know how he's doing, but probably not fantabulous. But I did offer to go make him a coffee. Yeah, it took me a last bowl to use hot glue for your foot bowl. He is okay, he says. Okay, good. I'm glad he's okay. Squirrel, hi guys. <laughs> I'm in there looking through my stuff. La la la. No, I was looking for my. I was looking to get my. Um... Dang, what's it called? What an excessive amount of. <laughs> Not quite hot enough yet. Sky's nose is so sensitive. Connie, what's on the agenda today? Is Ross awake, Connie? <laughs> I'm going to just get after Ross, babe. 
Yeah, we thought he was going to have a good appointment today, but. Oh, oh, God dang. Did you guys see all that? Lord. That's going to be enough freaking glue to. What the? Look at this. It's disgusting. Oh, my God. It goobered everywhere. Oh! Well, Heather Lynn, I don't enjoy E6000 right at the moment either. <laughs> Do you see the mess I'm making? Ah! Oh my God, did you guys see Heather's auction the other night? First of all, she did an amazing auction and I do believe it was her first one and she did phenomenal. Second of all, her Corey is just a cutie patootie and they both have adorable accents. For that exact reason, thanks for the heads up, girlfriend. <laughs> As it goes <laughs> everywhere. The agenda today is clean care, puke, then wake Ross up, and then maybe get Christmas up. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know about clean care, puke. I'm pretty sure that means cat puke, and I'm, you know, I'm not feeling it. Weezer, that was a tragedy. No, girlfriend, I'm not that sweet. If I if I'm <laughs> if I'm saying that's truly how I feel, it was awesome. This stuff is greasy. Have you guys ever like stuck your fingers in it just for? No reason other than to see if you can super glue your fingers together. What's doing better? Thanks, Weezer. All right. Do I have any ribbon that I can cover these? I crack me up sometimes, Heather. <laughs> I know. Now it's like beating off of my fingertips. I'm going to have to go wipe it on babe's hairy arms. Now, don't get upset. I won't really do that to Babe. <laughs> I just have fun picking on him. It's not in that bucket. It's not in that bucket. I just saw... <laughs> we'll use it to put me back together. That'll be nice. That'll be very nice. I need a fat ribbon. I'm so glad that the dogs are preoccupied or they'd be over here in my little bins. So if you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> I have these little bins all on my chairs out here because when I pull them out from out back, then I need somewhere to set them that they're not on the table and in my way. So, I mean, it goes to show how much we truly don't sit at the kitchen table to do anything. This isn't a bad ribbon for the backing, right? What do you guys think of that? This one? Oh, it came with a fancy smancy little pin. Get rid of that sucker before it hurts me. Yikes. Time to empty the trash. That's how your kitchen is too. <laughs> I'm glad that we are not alone, Weezer. I am, I am. And if I fold this one over like that one is, and then cut it to the same length. Then we're going to fold it under to have it be nice and 
neat, but we're gonna do it off of here so that if it sticks, let's put it. Oh, thank you, Deb. I'm glad that you have a fun time coming in. It wouldn't be any fun that if it were any other way, would it? I don't. I just like to come on, see you guys, have fun, chit chat. And quite honestly, I don't even really care what I'm crafting for the day. You know, what matters is, you know, you guys are here and having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys, I have a theory about that. And I was telling my sister, I don't know if Dawn is still here, if she's listening and stuff, or if she had to leave and go to the store already. But I'm like, you know, I'm starting to think that I must prefer it, at least subconsciously, to be crowded on my table. Because I'll be danged every single time I clean my table off, I'll go right to the back and pull a ton more stuff back out again and pile it right back up. It's almost like a sense of security. I've got my little hole in here. <laughs> so now I have a car table in the living room because I can't sit at my kitchen table because the chairs are too high and my wife can't handle that yet. Oh, Weezer, yeah. Oh, gosh. Weezer, do you need some canvases? Or did you just happen to use that last night because you were going to use it for something else? I was thinking about that this morning. I was like, well, I wonder if she needed some canvases. Your craft desk is cleaner than your table. <laughs> now that's backwards. That is backwards. Do you have children running around though, Heather Lynn? If you've got children, I would have never had my table like this when the kids were little, ever. I, I would have been too stressed out, would have never been able to find anything for the kids. I had to have things in a particular order when the kids were small. Now they probably look at me like, who are you? And what'd you do with my mom? <laughs> this is a... Okay, just checking, girlfriend. This is a stick flat glue, grandmother Stover's, and I'm going to try it. Evidently, I just like to stick my fingers into things and make a mess of myself. Doesn't it look like a nice, dreamy, creamy thing, though? Get in there, you little stink pot. Your craft desk has glitter and cups on it. Sorry, babe. Yeah. Are you in there? I don't want to say, watch out, Ricky. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Coming at him with full on sticky fingers. This stuff is really cool, you guys. I mean, Predominantly, I think I would use it for paper, but I am not opening that E6000 again. No, not right now. Not with it leaking all out on me like that. Dang it. So I'm going to try this and see how I like the hold. It's a stick flat glue. Look at my fingernail. Gross. Where's Miss Carrera Ruth? <laughs> We should have a crafter fingernail <laughs> competition type of thing. Not even like a competition. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I don't know if I'll like the ex exhibition. Yes. Never heard of that. Ooh, I like it better for paper. <laughs> Babe starts reading it, and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. you stop it over there. It's making grumpy faces. 
It won't curl the paper. Yes, a comparison. This stuff works amazing. I first heard about this from um, Cindy Lou's Itty Bitty Creations. Does it look expensive? It was $5.99 for this bottle. And this is six ounces. It won't curl your paper. So I guess it's predominantly used for paper. Transparent will applied, will not curl, wrinkle, or discolor any material, regardless of how thin or how delicate the tin. Will stick paper, cloth, leather, etc., to glass, tin, metal, painted surfaces, etc. Keep covered when not in use, can be diluted with warm water. So you can apply it with a brush and dilute it if you prefer. It's called Grandmother Stover's Stick Flat Glue. That's what all glues say. Will stick to metal, glue, tin, whatever, whatever. And then that will work, right? We should test it out on one of those tins that Connie sent. Yeah. Hobby Lobby. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I do believe I got it at Hobby Lobby. Is that a Hobby Lobby sticker? I don't know. It's a stick fast glue or stick flat. Stick flat? A stick flat glue. <laughs> that is so true. Look at that fingernail. That's disgusting. It's loaded with black paint and stuff. You're welcome. I think it was Hobby Lobby, Connie. Either that or I got it on Amazon. It's the two go-to places. Ta-da! Or ta-da! It doesn't all show. It's too big to show all the way. Can't buy coffee. I don't go out of the house. He can't buy coffee. He doesn't go out of the house. What if I show it just all on this? Now, can you guys see it better? Yeah, no problem. There you go. Yeah. Ta-da! Thank you, guys. And then the back has the perky little ribbons on it. That's what I should do to the paintings, huh? Yeah. Thank you, guys. I think my favorite part is the pine cones, to be honest. Yeah, your pine cones came out nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So now it's got a little hanger. Hanger, anchor. And the ribbon didn't come out bad. So, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Weezer and Nora and Carla and Kathy and Connie. And Shirley and Deb. Weezer and a bigger cup, he says. <laughs> so, we will see you all again tomorrow. But I might pop back on in a little bit and do a snowman painting. I know we've had enough snowmans, but this one's really cute. His nose goes all the way across and he's got ornaments hanging from it. So. If you guys want to see that, I'll probably pop back on in a little while. A little while could be an hour or two. All right, you guys. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye. Bye.